What's up guys? We have the new update Dark Spell Factory skeleton update. This is brought to you. This video is brought to you with from Clash with Ash and then I think you got it from Chief Pat um, and Daddy. Anyways, just had to give that to you. But I wanted to um, just show you this new skeleton trap. So this is the new update uh, new dark spell factory here that we have going on so level one skeletons as you can tell right there they are uh, gonna give you 10 skeletons uh, for the uh, level one dark spell there and we have for level two we're gonna give you 12 skeletons level three is gonna be 14 and level four for the dark spell is gonna be 16 skeletons so different strategies that you can use the main one is using the skeletons to lure the clan castle obviously those wall breaks uh, if you want, instead of using a giant, you can use, look, the poison, the dark spell there uh, to kind of distract the defensive units. And then that way the wall breakers could go in. Usually before you'd use a giant, or use some barbarians or different things like that. This is a new edit mode. As you can tell, you can just hold down um, and kind of switch which uh, troops you want to have queued up, ready to go. So again, this is not my attack. This is, uh, I'm using this video. Uh, via Clash with Ash. Check out his channel. He's great here. So we're going to just use some of the dark spell here. Just going to show it in action. If you haven't used the bowlers, those are pretty awesome for creating the funnel. I haven't even used them yet because I'm level 10. Haven't even gotten those up and running yet um, at that Town Hall 10. Sorry. So of course his main goal here is the queen walk using the bowlers. Uh, trying to get the Valkyries to funnel right towards the center of the base. And what is he going to do with the Dark Spell? That's the key here. Uh, the Dark Spell is a very nice tool for luring that clan castle. Not only that, it can also uh, provide distraction for defensive units, giving your Valkyries or other ground troops more time and just some provided backup because you can place the Dark Spell anywhere on the map. Uh, so it can actually create a nice little extra firepower for the center, distract some of those inferno towers. Uh, so here he's going to create the funnel on either side, making sure his heroes go in towards the center there. And let's see what happens. The Valkyries are going to the core. Here he drops some, look at that, his dark spell down to the south. Those expos are, and the Inferno Towers are being distracted. If he actually drops more in the center there, the Inferno Towers would really distract uh, some of those um, uh, Infernos compared so they won't be hitting the Valkyries. So I kind of like this Dark Spell Factory. Going to see what we can do with it. The main thing I think is going to be using for luring the Clan Castle. Uh, just another way. You don't have to bring in hogs. A lot of people use hogs to lure the Clan Castle or giants or thing or even uh, loons. So you don't have to waste troops, a uh, valuable troop space, uh, you can bring extra spell uh, to do that. And uh, I think that's the real key. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, bring you uh, another video dealing with what, uh, how much the skeletons can lure. Uh, I was playing with before, saw some on different channels that it doesn't lure all the troops at once unlike say uh, you know usually you bring in a, a hog it lures most of the clan castle all at once uh, if you have two hogs for sure so it will take a few more dark spell uh, skeleton dark spells to get it but um, this was a nice three star attack obviously uh, from you know max troops max everything like that but the main thing was if you noticed in the raid the dark spell had some different uses for it so excited to see that here at the end of this video I'm going to be showing you the new village edit mode which is very neat here uh, and again just making Clash of Clans a more in-depth game something more uh, utilized like a PC game or a, a, a first-person shooter game something like that but here is the village edit mode as you can tell here different options the main nice thing here you can shift your entire base by a click of a button so say it off-centered you know you, you're doing it by uh, judging it by um, sight and sometimes you just mess up by accident now you can just shift it left to right there's the scout view you can um, do it as in where 
your enemy would see your base and kind of see the vulnerabilities. And this is just for the viewing the wall. So very nice here. I really like it. And I want to give you here, let's go back to some more skeletons. Let's see how it works. Uh, continuing on the video, gonna make it all at once here. Using the skeleton dark spell to lure the new and improved hound. Look at that extra hound, the powerful hound, level four hound. You can see the cannons are upgraded there too as well. So the key here is going to lure the clan castle out, this hound. Now with the new, um, I guess with new air attacks going on, uh, they're trying to bring air back with the new hound there. But as you can tell, we're going to drop a poison spell um, to lure this clan castle and kill it as well. So again, I don't suggest using the hound in the clan castle with Valkyries. The reason being, they don't do anything. Uh, so uh, not a big deal. Now the pups do cause a great amount of damage. As you can tell, the queen is about to go down. Uh, most people, if you don't have a max queen, you'd have to use a rage or you're going to have to use her ability or bring in some minions to help out in the attack so there you can lure the clan castle nice and easy but look at this look at those bases gonna drop some more so as you can tell one level uh, level one dark spell right there lures about 10 or so archers uh, maybe 12 right there archers so uh, it won't lure the entire clan castle out if you have say witches in there archers barbarians minions things like that so if you uh, kind of have a diverse clan castle, you can't get all the units in the clan castle out. So that is something to think about, providing a variety of clan castle, because for a long time it used to just be hounds, maybe some dragons, but now with these new updates, uh, people are using a lot of different units. Golems are back in town, uh, as well as minions, because they do well against Valkyries. So the clan castle, it's nice to uh, make it different. As you can tell, look at that. Minions are lured out, uh, the rest of them. So he had archers and minions in there. So because archers are lured first, the minions would stay behind. So minions could definitely cause some serious damage to Valkyrie attacks if you do not deal with the clan castle. So uh, just a lot of different options now that you can use for the clan castle, which I really think is very important uh, because it creates variety for this game. You know, most games, if you notice most games today, uh, they provide that variety. You go to any PC game, any any other game that you like um, besides Clash, variety. And that's what they're trying to bring us is variety in this game. Uh, so, you know, you can attack with different units, you can defend with different units, uh, and hopefully it takes some skill to actually three-star a base. Uh, and with these new updates on the defensive end at Town Hall 11, for sure it's going to be hard to even two-star uh, if you don't know what you're doing. Because the Valkyries, yes, they were powerful, but now with these extra units, extra powerful um, defensive units uh, like the, the cannons, uh, things like that, uh, it's going to provide a lot of challenge for any attacker. So as you can tell, uh, he is trying, you know, using the poison plus the dark spell to kind of lure the clan castle and bring them within the dark spell, the poison radius. So just instead of wasting troops, valuable troops, on killing the clan castle, now you can use the dark spell factors. And they also, again, provide, as I said before, great distraction for those Inferno Towers. Even if just for a second, it'll save you. But anyways, I appreciate the views. We'll see you next time. Halo House.